Hello, my name is Amador Jimenez and I am a PhD for the University of Jaén in Education and Sciences. Uh, I'm doing this video to describe what has been my stu my, the, the study that I took on uh, for the graduation. Um, five years ago, I decided to start this study because I was working in a bilingual school in my, home uni in my hometown in Martos Jaén and I was sharing the school with some of these language assistants that are, are here uh, to help the school and the students to become fluent in another language. Um, what I observed at that time is that um, these assistants are not used the same way uh, inside the school or at any other, uh, other bilingual schools. So I decided to, to study what's going on. And, um, in 2006, Junta de Andalucía uh, proposed a plan to bolster bilingualism in the Junta de Andalucía, in Andalucía, and they created uh, bilingual schools. And one of the measures they adopted was to include one of the uh, a young student from other country fluent in English or French or German in the bilingual school classes. And the problem that I observed, as I said before, is that they're, they're not used the same way. Um, as a review of the literature, the, the, the problem that I found is that this is a very new uh, program and there are not that many information, data and studies that um, use this program uh, to make new conclusions and to, to do new adjustments. So um, many of the studies that I have used in the review of the literature are, to, are about uh, similar programs like the JET, uh, Japanese English teaching, or another similar programs that are not necessarily this one, but one that all the programs that are similar to this one. Um, the objectives of my study is to m make a balance of uh, what were the status of this uh, program for example, knowing uh, characteristics and tendencies uh, within the program, within the, the local teachers that share the classroom with the assistants, the assistants themselves, uh, the administration of the school, and the administration and the board of this program. Uh, the methodology used combines uh, is a mixed method research uh, that combines qualitative data with quantitative data. Uh, I distributed two questionnaires, one for language assistant and another one for local teachers. Both of those questionnaires have around uh, 30 items each. Uh, I did that on the internet. Um, in, the, in the results that I found, there are, there are obviously some tendencies in the lifestyle of the assistants in, in the country. There is some tendencies uh, regarding the methodology used with those assistants, there is some tendencies in the way uh, the administration decides to use these assistants. Um, the hypothesis that I found is that minor changes uh, regarding uh, the field of study of the assistant can make a difference. And the, in the program, for example, some of them are coming from uh, non-education backgrounds like uh, medicine background, engineers, uh, and those that are not coming from a uh, background in education do not have the same results than those that, that, those that have uh, instruction, university instructions in, in pedagogy or education and sciences. Um, the conclusion of my study is it's necessary to introduce some changes. Uh, it's important to have a look at the participants, not when they're here, but when they are um, still in their countries in the application process. It's also important to talk to the local teachers that are going to share the classroom with them because some of them are forced to participate in the program even, even though they don't want to. And at the end of the day, if they're forced to participate in the program, they're not going to make the best use of their language assistance. So it's a waste of time and money. and It's not going to make the effect that it should do uh, on the students. Also, uh, workshops that teach how to, to, how to uh, work cooperatively between uh, assistants and group work, like workshops and group work are necessary and they should be mandatory for all the bilingual schools. Um, finally, I would, like to, I would like to thank my advisor, Eufrasio, for all the help that has provided me during the, during the study. I would, also, I would also like to thank all my friends and my family, of course, and finally also my students, my, uh, my school students at Swagen International School in Denver that have always been kind to me and it's very it's, it's been very easy for me to, to do both tasks at the same time, being a full-time teacher and a PhD student and now a PhD. Thank you very much. Bye.